When you are ready, proceed to the navigation console. The segment you need is in a nearby data vault. Infiltrate the vault and retrieve the segment. The Ascaris is working, breaking through. I see the shadows of your mind. Data Vault is equipped with a variety of security measures. How you defeat measures is up to you. Target console is nearby. If you trigger the alarms now, the enemy will start destroying data.
extracted. They won't even know it's gone. The segment is yours. Head to extraction. As every moment passes, the Ascaris burrows deeper, revealing you. Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. Hey guys, what's up? Um, I wasn't commenting that first part, but I'm commenting Orbiter now. Void cloak engaging. Um, Welcome back, operator. Yeah. The operator has so this is a, it's in really installed now. Free to play. I know it's on PC and Xbox One. 
I'm not sure about PS4. Probably. Communications online. I don't think this is I must exclusive, analyze what Boris Ascaris is doing yeah. to your Warframe. This technology is beyond the. It must be Corpus in origin. Free to play game. Systems engaging. Yeah. I suppose this will do. Right, Ordis so. is grateful. I don't even know what this stuff is. The operator is now connected with other Tenno in the system. The operator may now contact black market scumbags. Contact arms dealers. Excellent idea, Ordis. Tenno, we need to make contact with a corpus defector sympathetic to the Tenno cause. They will, of course, require compensation. You see what Ordis is referring to, operator? In this case, compensation will not be credits. It will be freedom. I've updated navigation. You will need to break him out of a Grenier Gulag. Yeah. There's not much to commentate on this game. I can talk to people though. I'll just say... Hi. It kind of, it's kind of cool because it kind of works like um PC. Like with the chat. Yeah, these are just like they're not even people in my game or anything like that. They're just random people on the game, I think. I'm not exactly sure, but I like, I think people around the same rank as me. Ordis has been thinking sure. about the old war. I remember there were lies, but I'm not sure what they were. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, who are these? I wonder if I need to buy these with credits or if I can just get them. Test it. Oh no, I can just equip it. Okay, there you go. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, so there's not much to hit on this game. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's pretty fun though. Um, I definitely recommend getting it if you guys have something that's free to play on. It's not, I'm pretty sure it's not on Xbox 360 and PS3. I think it's on. I'm not sure if it's on PS4 or not. I don't really know. Um, yeah. I'm not really sure because I haven't played it. I haven't played PS4 yet. And you are I'm here not to find on. your target and bring them to the extraction point. Exactly. Happy hunting. I'm just more of an Xbox one. I'm more of an Xbox person, so yeah. The reason why. And so on, so on, my. 
Yeah, but I don't. I personally don't have many people on my friends list on Xbox One. So yeah, I need to work on that. Definitely. We cannot let our target know we're here. Oh, Track them down quickly. Yeah. If there's any of you guys who want me to add you, um, I, I don't really, I haven't really figured out how I'm gonna add people yet. I can add me to the enemy but yeah. Uh, Enemy at the gate. Don't have many like subscribers or anything like that, but. Probably gonna end up adding people that like have like this kind of game with me and uh, and ones that I'll commonly play with, like like games with, like um ones that yeah that's for the people who will add. I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna add randomly. So yeah. Um, Heads up. A yeah, no one's really been asking me if I can add them though. So yeah, it's not really. Yeah, uh, when. <coughs> yeah, I don't have many friends on Xbox One though. That's the reason I brought that up. Like Sixty some of them have an Xbox One, but not many. I, I'm not sure if this game is multiplayer or not. I'm not really sure. I don't, I don't really. I don't know if it does. I don't, yeah, I'm not really sure, but at the moment, I don't think it does. I think it might just have instead of having like multiplayer, it just has um like you can like talk to. Just, yeah, I'm not sure. How that works, like what it's on. I'm not sure if it's just random people on the game or random people like that are close to the same level. Something like that, I'm not really sure how it works. But yeah. But that's pretty cool though. It's, it's kind of like um PC in a in a way. Like with the chat. Give six headshots. I have not had that many headshots already. I almost missed this. Wait, did I just get a? I think I might have just picked up a gun. I'm not sure though. Yeah, I don't know. I might have though. I'm not really sure. Okay. Yeah, but when you're in the air, you can hold the aim button, which is LT. You like float, which is pretty cool. You can take people out while you're in it too. Yeah. I think it's pretty good with this game, that's not at least something that I've seen in any other games yet. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I need to maybe... I don't think it's multiplayer, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I know this is... this is free. I know this is on um, X Xbox One and, and Steam. That's all I know it's on. So, yeah, I'm not 100% sure it's on 
PlayStation 4 or not, but I'm not sure. It's kind of something. Anyone who has a PlayStation 4 and wants to get it needs to check because yeah, I'm not really I'm not really sure if it's on there or not. But it definitely is. It's a fun game. And yeah. If you guys like football players, if you guys like shooting players, it's pretty fun. Yeah. It might not look that fun, but it's, it's kind of more fun than it looks. Yeah. I don't even know what this thing is. Oh, you can't jump up there. Yo, when you guys see me do this, so it's still, that's like when you, um, like you double tap the jump and you, uh, Something you can do, like, you know, like, it's something that looks pretty cool, but just get, like, combos of kills. It's a good way to it's a good way to get away from places too. We were stuck there for a minute. That was like that was almost like a that reminded me of that um that glitch in advanced warfare. The one where you could hold the zombies back. I've never played X with zombies, but having that's got the DLC on there. But I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I don't know if it's really good or not. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that, and the reason why is because there's probably going to be some Call of Duty's backwards compatible on 360. I think I'm just going to wait for that and I think Modern Warfare 2 it's in like 4th right now there's a voting part where you can vote for the games um, if, I, if anyone wants a link to that I can, um, I can go and find it and link it yeah I know it is it's like a website off of xbox.com but yeah yeah, Black Ops 2, it's not really a surprise that's in first round. Yeah. yeah. Like, literally with that one, though, like, that one was already announced it's gonna be back to compatible. I don't even know why they still have that. So it's, it's been announced that it's gonna be back to compatible. It's pretty obvious because it's in first. It's got like a hundred thousand votes. So, it. It has only like a couple less people and how many people are on the line on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming up. It's coming really soon, that update. The people in the program, they can play it. They've been able to play it like since June. They've been able to use the compatible game since June, but it's coming out to the public um, in a couple weeks, I'm pretty sure, because it's coming out sometime in November, so yeah, it's probably going to come towards the beginning, I'm not really sure though, but, yeah, they're not just going to have that though, that's what it mainly is, they're basically going to make the Xbox One, they're going to make it a lot easier to do some stuff, and yeah. They basically make it like um like with some stuff that isn't as good on they're gonna basically make it better. Some stuff that can be annoying with it, they're gonna make it better. So yeah.
Yeah, it's gonna be something though. When when backwards compatibility comes, I'm definitely going to um be streaming those games and uploading them to YouTube. Yeah, but one of the reasons that I, I actually really want to be back to be backwards compatible because I kind of want to get into that game because I've never actually played it. I've played the demo, but I haven't played the full game before. Yeah, that's the game I want to get into, so I want it to be backwards compatible um, so I can like get into it because I don't play 360, so yeah. Um, I'm not, and I'm not really sure how they're gonna pick the games. I'm not sure if it's just like how many votes they have or if they're doing certain ones. Something like that. I think most of the games they have backwards compatible, like, it doesn't even seem like many people play them. Like, right now, like, like some of them, like, not many people play at all. Like, I'm actually surprised that they made those backwards compatible. A lot of them people just don't play at all, like like these are seeing Godzilla for example and like and like um and like what else? I'm not even sure what else, but they're just they're games that not many people play and I'm really surprised they actually made them back to compatible. Get it. 